So, uh, Mr. Secretary, you say in your posture statement that the Indo-Pacific remains DOD's number one priority region. I have a series of questions about the threat in this region, and as I have only f have now four minutes left, I'd really appreciate uh, your answers to be very brief, and a yes or no would be great. Uh, in your statement, you say North Korea is seeking to build legitimacy through the development of a variety of nuclear conventional and unconventional weapons and by growing its ballistic missile capabilities. Is the threat of North Korea's ballistic missile capabilities becoming increasingly dangerous? It's becoming increasingly complicated as they seek to modernize the yes. full range of missile systems. So I'd say that's a yes. Uh, you say in your posture statement that the FY21 budget request is directed toward achieving an, an quote, irreversible implementation of NDS, end quote, which includes enhancing missile defense capabilities pursuant to the 2019 Missile Defense Review. That's correct, isn't it? Yes, we are putting additional money into missile defense and defeat. And do the North Korean long-range ballistic missiles pose a threat to the United States, which, of course, includes Hawaii? Uh, yes, if, if, if our intelligence is correct, they would. Yes. And you also state uh, your budget requests quote, increases missile defense capability and capacity to keep pace with adversary missile systems, end quote, while investing in a layered defense of the homeland. But, Mr. Secretary, in spite of four years of authorizations and three years of appropriations from Congress and your own 2019 missile defense review, you have zeroed out the HDR Hawaii, which is a radar for Hawaii, which is part of a system that provides layered defense of the homeland. Is this decision to zero out the funding for HDRH a decision to not build this radar at all in Hawaii? Not necessarily, Senator. As you know, there, for many years now, we've had a problem with state and local authorities giving us permission to get onto that site and do what we need to do, if I recall correctly. And it seemed the latest report we had at the time building the budget is we probably wouldn't see any resolution for another year or two or three. So does that mean that we can expect you to request? Uh, I'm very familiar with uh, certain delays right. with regard to the siting. So does this mean that we can expect a request uh, of money for the HDRH in fiscal year 22? I think when we see a light at the end of the tunnel with regard to getting clearance to build, yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good to know. And uh, because otherwise the decision to zero out the HDRH and reprioritizing the funds from DOD's number one priority region, as you say, for another purpose really doesn't make sense. And um, I'd also like to have a commitment from you now that uh, you will not seek to repurpose F-20 funding for this radar that is still being used to continue the HDRH Hawaii contract. Senator, I'm not sure I can make that commitment because I'm not sure I fully understand what you're asking. But again, our, well, what, what we're trying to do is, in the era of tight budgets, make sure we don't put money against something that has no possibility of being affected in the near term. Well, I don't know what you mean by the near term because well, in the, in the this, upcoming this radar is part of a system and was supposed to be pretty much operational by 2023, which means that it's, aside from the delays that I understand that's occurred, uh, we're supposed to be on track because that's what the national defense strategy calls for. So in 2020, there was some $188 million. This is being expended right, even as we speak. So I would like to know that you are not going to repurpose this funding that's already there. Uh, well, Senator, if I recall the purposes. Yes, ma'am. If I call, recall the issue properly, it's, it's developing of the, of the system is one thing, but if I develop a system and I can't put it somewhere that it has no effect, it's wasted money. Well, you know that, that uh, this contract is, uh, as far as I know, Lockheed Martin is already building this radar. So they've already, there's already a contract for them. This thing was supposed to be in effect operational in 2023. So um, if we don't go ahead with this, I think that you're gonna have some contractual uh, things to deal with. But you know, what I'm hearing from you is, aside from the delays that were caused by the sighting mainly of this radar, that you have a commitment yeah. to pursue the radar and have it built in Hawaii as part of our system, well, missile defense system. I, I'm making commitment to you that we, of course, intend to defend all 50 United States and territories with radars and effectors as necessary. What I don't under, what I need to come back to you with is a better understanding where things lie. It's one thing to build a radar, but if I invest hundreds of million dollars in the radar and then I cannot place it somewhere, then it's wasted money. Of course I realize that. That's not what I'm asking. Thank you, Mr. 